Hello everybody, I am more Team 411 and welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 17. And we are with the Hallows Eve uh, cult. You know, I keep changing that, like it's all Hallows Eve and then it's the Rose Reds, but one's the colony and one's the town, so, you know, they're just whatever. Whatever anybody wants to call them. And we are doing the Season of Thankfulness because it is November, and today I would like to say that I am thankful for those who take the time out to share their story. And what I mean by that is... Not just their personal story, but, uh, well, not just fiction or non-fiction stories, really. Um, I don't, I'm not really specific on either one, because even through fiction or non-fiction, there's a life lesson there. So the people who actually take the time out to tell their story or to write their story, it's like they're putting a bit of their life out there for other people to judge, to ridicule, to whatever, but there's always a chance that someone's going to see what it is they were trying to do and and take it the right way, that it is a life lesson, that you can learn from other people's mistakes, that you can gain inspiration from their courage, from their defeat, and their ability to pull themselves back out of it. The people who have that kind of courage to tell those stories and just put it out there, either by words or by talking, or any media, really, movies do the same thing, though I would say probably less than words, but... Anyway, th those people are, have got a special place in my heart because I am an avid reader and have been since forever. Like I said before, when I was being thankful, one of my superpowers is being able to read and walk at the same time, even though I can't chew gum and walk at the same time, because then I will probably trip over myself and die in a very gruesome way. Uh, yeah, I, I can read and walk, so that's a thing. Uh, so yeah, the people who have the courage to tell their stories and get those life lessons out there for other people to learn from. Even back in the day of the Indians, they knew that telling stories to the younger generations helped them to learn. Nowadays, it seems like people are too busy criticizing each other that nobody really has the courage to really put themselves out there to tell a genuine story that teaches a life lesson. It's more of a mockery of humanity than it is a life lesson. And I appreciate those who do take that extra step to not mock life, but to celebrate it and to help influence another generation for the better. So thank you for all those unsung heroes out there. Uh, anyway, let's get into this game and, you know, do what we came to do. Watch things break down because that's what they do. Are these not in the home zone? Probably not. Let me fix that. Because they will not go out there and fix my turrets if they are not in the home zone. And right now they are smoking even though they haven't really been doing anything. Thanks for that, guys. You are not maintaining at all. Come on. Somebody go out there and fix it. Thank you, Kaylee. Uh, Kaylee? You're only half doing it. There's another one here. Jane just walks by to sweep up, sweep up one thing. Okay, thank you, Jane. Alright, so we are still working on our mad laboratory. And... Uh, I can't really set out a sign saying no DD, but um, I think we've done a pretty good job. I do need to cut some more wood because I've got a lot of chairs programmed to be uh, built. Not programmed. God, what the hell am I doing? I am, I am uh, focused. That's what I'm doing. Not really. I'm not focused at all. Uh, let's just get some of this wood and some of that wood. Is there anything in the colony? Oh, well, I guess those can be chopped, too. That's fine. Okay, that should be plenty. We finally managed to clear all of that wood out. And our laboratory is looking mighty interesting. Did we ever get any more? We got two vials right here of chicken genetic material, which I think is actually turkey, not chicken weirdos. It's like all of it, all of it. You're just going to call it one thing. That's what we're going to do. Okay. So, let's build a couple of these. Yeah. And we are going to put all the genetic material in all of these to keep them kind of handy. Speaking of which, these... No. Whoa, wait. Uh, is that all of them? Okay. Let's cancel those two. Because I want to put another one of these here. Okay, and storage. Clear all. We are going to go with, uh, where is the genetic materials? Any genetic materials can go over these. Okay, that's what we're going to do right there. 
And I don't see me wanting to sell these things now unless I actually look and see whether or not the genetic material is a highly valued commodity, because if that's the case, I might actually stick a, uh, a beacon in here so we can use it. Okay, thank you very much. I don't know why you're having to make more. What are we using it for would be my question. Uh, copy settings and paste settings. Thank you. Before anybody tries to bring more stuff in. I'm not sure what that was. Was that a chair you just brought in? Thank you. Um, at least this way I can tell what kind of genetic material we have whenever it comes in. Right now we've got two chicken genetic material, which really isn't going to get us very much, so not really in the science lab area just yet. Well, thank you, Simon, for delivering. If, uh... She's practicing writing, so she's probably feeling a little crazy. And now she's coming to build. Okay. Well, geez. Can we? No, I don't want to. I don't want to change those. Let's get those out of the picture. Right there and paste. Okay, that should cover all of them. So anytime we have genetic material coming in, it should go there. I don't know that there's anything else genetic wise that we're going to need the alpha serum will need to go over here too i'm assuming but it's going to be a while so yeah uh this is obviously having problems uh let's uninstall someone yeah thank you thank you thank you thank you that was kind of irritating me and you can actually deconstruct that when it's kind of messing with my eyeballs a little bit thank you and how about we put here and no not there cancel i don't know it just seems like there needs to be a couple of racks here too i don't know what we could possibly put in these um why are you making more pulp we have wood over here yes we do okay they're still working on taking out the tree so i think we're good the science lab is not, I wouldn't call it complete, it still doesn't look like a mad scientist lab to me just yet. Oh, uh, research screen. How are we doing? Did we finish all of the research for the genetics? Yes, we did. Okay. And then prosthetics, did we finish all of that? No, we didn't. Um, you know, I want to get basic fuses because I've already had it destroy a couple of things before and it won't take all that long. So uh, let's do that. River, how are we doing? It seems like we're moving up a whole lot faster now that River has her outfit on. Just seems to really oomph whenever they get together. And yes, oomph is a word. Not really. It's not, but it is my word. So there. Uh, I guess maybe we already got the other crow unless it attacked and I didn't even see it. Um, You know, we could take out these worms. I'm not too terribly con inconsiderate there. We could take those guys out. And animals, do we have the other crow? Yes, we do. So you need to come over here to the spooky guys. And what is wrong with this husky? Uh, health. Oh my goodness. Just about all of your legs are burned off or whatever. Um, okay, animal prosthetics. Do we even have that up? I don't even think we have that. Um, let's see. A uh, dog said. Research that first. We need to get that animal up and moving. Did not realize we had one that was down. Do not worry. We will get you back on your feet in no time at all. As a matter of fact... Uh, what's your name? Anastasia. Let's put you a bit a whole lot closer up here. Uh, Zoe, how about you have Anastasia in your room? Um, Anastasia, a sign. Can someone help her? Uh, I don't want you to... Okay, whatever. Can I not get anybody to move her? Somebody come move her! Anybody? Will anybody do this? <gasps> there we go. 
There we go. Anastasia will now be closer to where she will be kept a little bit warmer since she can't move around. She won't be completely left out of the whole goings-on of the colony while we're waiting for that research to get done. Wahahahaha. Awesome. Uh, you know, I don't think we actually need organic pulp from corpses. Let's suspend this. I would prefer to extract things from the corpses, if at all possible. We've got 1,300 smoked meat. We've got worm flesh, 120. Ew. Yum. Okay, now wildlife. What else can we go after? How about we go after these raccoons? And these turkeys. Sure. And how about some hair? And... I think that's good. I think that'll work for now. Let's try and go for the smaller game and doing the extraction. I think the cost of doing the smaller game might be a little easier to play with than the bigger animals, because if we fail, we could wind up creating something rather unusual. And I don't know if taking the genetics from these will do us any good, because they're already recombined with something else as it is. Now uh, you're just going to shoot from way over there at that bunny laying down over here, huh, Zoe? Simon, please don't. Don't get shot right there. Three days until the next full moon. I am watching you. Zoe, for God's sakes. Fire at that hair. Thank you. Jeez. Tearing up our wall. Uh, okay. Can someone hold that, please? River! And you even got the crow sleeping right there on the floor. Are we out of sleeping spots? I probably should, you know, build a few other copies. Um, what would be another good place to have our animals? Huh. I don't know, a couple of sleeping spots in here should be fine. And a couple of sleeping spots there. And this is not covered. Disease, plague, who? Jane, I know you. You are not going to go rest. Go rest. Who else is it? And Simon. Uh, rest. Zoe! I'm going to need you to wake up and do something about these. Thank you. And are you telling me? Okay. How are we doing? Minor. Plague is at 42. Immunity is at 46. Simon. Uh, plague is 42. Immunity is at 33. For these two guys, let's make sure the... Not the bed. Yeah, the bed. That's what I wanted. Uh, let's make sure they get the best medicine we have for the next couple of days. Yeah, let's do that. Because they're going to definitely need to beat that. I should have went ahead and turned it up before she even gave them the first treatment. Oh, wildlife. How are we doing? We take a couple of larger game out, too, just to replenish our stockpile of food. Uh, why are we moving? Why? Why was that a thing? Important. Important. Somebody just picked it up and moved it from one section to the- hold on. No, there's only one. What did we do with the other? Uh... Huh. I have no idea. We did something with it. Hmm. That's weird. It just disappeared. One of the animals ate the, uh, <laughs> the juices, the essence of that creature. Okay. How are we doing? They're sitting here having a conversation. Uh, 42 and 58. And 43 and 42. We are catching up, and I think 
The uh, next medicine ought to actually put them over. Oh, he's throwing a party. Well, that's great. I mean, it's in a nasty ass room, but, you know, that's fine. And then, of course, River comes in here and says, No party! Oh, that cat. <laughs> okay, uh, research is going okay. As soon as we do that, we can get Anastasia here up and moving, which would be great. I did not realize that you were just laying there doing nothing, you poor lonely boomerat. I am keeping an eye out for you, a friend. One has not appeared yet. I am keeping very close tabs, so no worries. You will not be alone forever. Oh, I didn't think about it. This is another area where we could put some more uh, furniture animal sleeping spots right in here. Yeah. Uh, there we go. That's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, two more? Oh, no, that's one, two. Okay. Okay, that'll work. That will work. That should be enough sleeping spots for all animals, right? What are you hunting? Ah! Things that are lying down. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You stirred them up. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Okay. And Zoe, which one are you after? Alright, that should give us a pretty decent amount of meat right there. Shouldn't have to hunt for again for a little while anyway. How is Evertang going? I keep hitting my desk! Stop doing it! Uh, I'm gonna say this is looking good. I don't know what else to do to make this seem... I don't know, more evil sciency. How can I make it more evil sciency? What do we got? Decorations. No, I'm not seeing anything that would make this evil sciency. Huh. Artificial hedges. Uh not really. Not really. Though, I wouldn't mind some flower pots in here to keep it, you know, looking nice. So that people don't come in here and work and then break. <laughs> because, you know, it's hideous or something. So, a couple of flower pots is nice. And do we have any decent statues? Uh, normal. Not the wall. Normal. Normal. Good. Ah! Let's take this one and put it right there. Let's try and bring the beauty up in here. How is the beauty looking now anyway? Uh, very impressive, luxurious, extremely spacious, neutral. And slightly dirty because that one damn spot right there. Okay, whatever. Okay. I'd still like to know where the other vial went. Are animals coming in here and eating stuff? Let me watch you. Yes, no, maybe. Will you animals eat that? I know you'll eat some of the weirdest things. And, Myers, did you ever get the bionic eye? Yes, you did. How are you still suffering from the mega scare of... Huh. Okay, how are we doing? Uh, 45 on the plague, 66% immunity. And 93% immunity and 45% plague, which means Jane is supposed to be done with his. Simon, I think, is kind of missing his uh, bionics immunity boosting power there. Sorry, man. Distract the genes. Extract Alpha Serum. And I guess I could go through here and actually get Alpha Serum from all of them, but I'm not going to do that just yet because I don't know anything about the Alpha Serum. I think it was actually going to try and extract the best qualities of one of the creatures. I think that's what it's actually talking about, to try and make the ultimate creature. Or the ultimate one of whatever it is. Okay, Animal Prosthetics. 
animal bionics, right not? Okay, we need the workbench for that. Please, please, please. We have an animal in need. Animal prosthetics. There we go. That right there. If someone would not mind building that, please. We have an animal. We have an animal who needs us. Yay, Kaylee is on it. She's a hero. Okay. Uh, prosthetic leg we need. Uh, let's not do until do. I think we need three, right? Ah, daggone it. I hit it and then I don't hit it. Oh, yeah. Unless they consider that an arm, in which case let's go ahead and get them to do an arm as well. Call me crazy, but yes, they do consider those arms instead of legs on some of the animals. I don't know why. Jeez, our kitchen is a mess! It's nasty. Nasty. Please. Somebody clean it. How are we doing? Uh, we are almost at the top of Favored. I wonder what the next one after Favored is going to be. Uh... Yes, Kaylee is on it. We have already got... Civil Prosthetic Animal Leg. She's got two of them done. Okay. Operation, add a bill for... Front left and front right. Now let's go ahead and get the front left and the front right and the... No. Uh, I don't want the peg legs. No, not peg legs. Um, front left. Front right. And rear right. Okay. There we go. How did that go? Uh, it didn't go anywhere. What are you doing? Okay, I guess you were just cleaning. I thought you were doing the operation. Don't do that to me! Jeez. <laughs> okay, Simon, how are you doing? Zoe. Immunity is 85. I think she's actually taking care of him now. Oh, yeah. Immunity is at 86, and Plague is at 51. Simon is definitely going to have no problem beating that one. Um, set owner is supposed to be... Elizabeth with Kaylee. Why are you in her bed? Why are you in the bed, fatty? There's Nancy. Where is Elizabeth? I don't know. Oh. You're in the other bed. You're not supposed to be in that bed. You're supposed to be in the cozy bed. I see. I see how this is going to be. The dog just took the bed. Okay, two days until the next full moon. One patient is awaiting the operation. Looks like somebody is getting on it. Uh, Mal, I would like for the next operation for you to use the best medicine you can. Or not. Please be gentle. We want Anastasia up and moving. Awesome. And we can upgrade those to bionic legs later on. At least she is up and moving and a little bit healthier for it. As soon as she gets done waking up. And she's also in late stage pregnancy, so... That was kind of risky to do that. Probably a little too risky. I probably should have waited until she after after she had the baby, but you gotta do what you gotta do to make sure your animals are happy too, you know? Ostrich Squirrel. Yeah, let's take those guys out and all of that. Um and let's take out that bear. That's a predator around here I do not want. 
Ah, look at the kitties. They're so cute. They're just barking and meowing all over the place. Oh, that was turkey revenge. Animal healing. Are we still having a problem with the turkey revenge? Who is doing this? Seriously. Thank you. That was senseless. Okay, this one I expected, not the turkey. And of course it's Freddy shooting. Uh, one more. Uh, that means run. Come on over here and let the turrets help you. There you go. It's a reason for those turrets. There you go. And somebody finish them off. Yeah, I said finish him. Zoe, do you have a weapon to finish him with? No, you don't have a secondary weapon. How did I not give you a secondary weapon? Uh, what do we got? Plasteel Shiv? Titanium Shiv. Which one's better? Uh, melee damage is 11. Melee damage is 16, so the Titanium Shiv is definitely good. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, equip that as a sidearm. There we go. There we go. Everybody should have a sidearm. Does everybody have one? No. Why not? Um, Jane, you don't even have one. River, you don't have one either. Kaylee. No. I don't know where we're getting all these titanium side arms from, but okay. Alright, Freddy, you've got one, and Jason, you don't have one. I'm not sure if I should be giving you one, but okay. Everybody need one. Everybody needs those. You need to start carrying them around. Artifact. Right there. Claim. Don't know what to do about that, but, um... Still don't know what to do about that. Can we deconstruct it? I have no idea how to activate it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see... I don't see anything on there. Uh, all I see is steel. That's what it's going to be, because I don't have a way of activating it. It doesn't allow me the option. Kind of the failure of a mod in a little bit. But, you know, hey. It's a good thought. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. That's a very good possibility. I'm just not doing that right. Okay, how far are we going to get on this one? River speaks. Oh, that's actually visually moving up each time she talks. That outfit is awesome. Everybody takes her seriously now. Everybody, how do, how do we feel about these sermons? They are very accepting. Let's look through everybody, see if there's anybody who's still not on board with us. Oh yeah, everybody is completely in on the cult. Everybody is like listening to her every single word she has to say and is like, We understand. We accept. Okay, back to basic fuses. Let's see if we can't get some fuses going on so we can quit having the zzz events. I understand. We agree. Brainwash. Brainwash me. Yep, that's pretty much what they're saying to River, and River is okay with this. Because River's like, I can kill you with my brain. That's the way it goes. Someone can kill you with a brain, you listen to them. Okay, this is... I don't know, it seems overpopulated with chairs, to be honest with you. Ooh, feline? Whoa. Aw, tame the kitty! Yes, tame the kitty! Uh, where's... Mad Animal? Uh, it's coming up to our turrets. Let's see how our turrets handle this. They handle it pretty well, actually. 
Uh, let's bring that in. Maybe we don't even have to hunt anymore. We'll just let that handle it. Okay, how is the food supply? Bear gave us a pretty good bit. Rabaduck or Rababuck? Yeah, Rababuck. I don't, I don't even know how you would say that properly. Tortoise. And. Jeez, there's a lot of different kinds in here. Worm flesh. We still haven't used up all this deep one meat. And the Migo meat. Is it just me? Does that look hairy and nobody wants to eat it? I can't really blame them. Can't blame them one bit. We're starting to recover from our uh, our crop failure earlier, so as soon as we actually get all those crops, then we could be in a might bit of trouble. Can we set a refrigerator up here and put some meals up here for these guys too? Because I think we've got plenty. There, let's put them a refrigerator here. Maybe they'll buy our meals. Why are you in here playing with their stuff? Should you be doing that? Don't you have things to do? See? They're working. Alright, and I haven't told them to haul anything out here for stone in a while. Are there any other bits of stone out here I can have some of the pigs haul back for us? Or the... There we go. Let's bring all those in. Yeah, I think that's enough. I don't know what kind that is. Jeez, every time they call for it, everything stands still. River gets on the announcement head. Uh, sermon time. And the whole game pauses. See, that's what happens. Simon, should you be asleep during the sermons? Honestly. We are almost there. Almost there to seeing what is next. Now, do I have it to where they can... Let's see. Uh, zone area. Expand allowable area for visitors. Mm. Alright, that is it. No. No, 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 no. No, we are not putting... What is this? Package survival. We don't put package survival meals in there. Um... No, we don't want apparel in there either. What the hell? Uh, meals. We don't want packaged survival meals, and I think we could pretty much put, let's not put, um, our lavish meals over there. Yeah, let's not do that. Where's the normal meals? Really? Emu fat ointment. What? That makes no sense. Where are the simple meals? Okay, there's the simple meals. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's just put simple meals over here. And then maybe the strange meals will feed it to the guests. Okay. Uh, poison ship. Interesting. Right outside of our base. But that's fine. That is fine. That is A-OK. -okay. We will deal with that in the next video. And I hope you all have a wonderful time. As the tradition for now, it is November... Please go down in the comment section and take two minutes out of your day to say you're thankful about something. Everybody is thankful for something, and maybe the thing that you are thankful for someone else needs to know about so they will remember to take a step back and realize that they are indeed thankful for it as well. I will see you all in the next video. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and a wonderful 5 o'clock somewhere. Bye-bye.